Early diagnosis is key for treating cancer and that's particularly relevant in lung cancer. One of the real challenges we have with lung cancer is people don't tend to get symptoms until the cancer has spread and that's when treatment options are less effective. For well over a decade now I've worked in lung cancer where we're making diagnosis at stage three and four where cure is almost impossible to achieve. We always talk about how late we diagnose it. Well, in that case, that only tells me one thing, we have to do things differently. Just shuffle down slightly towards yeah. your feet when you're ready. One of the really important ways to find lung cancer early is to do lung cancer screening. It's very safe. We use what's called a low-dose CT scan, so the radiation is very minimal. Please breathe in and hold your breath. It takes five to ten minutes and then it's done. Scan's all finished. Screening, especially at the population level, in my view, is the holy grail of tackling lung cancer and how we're going to move away from late diagnosis to early diagnosis. The Targeted Lung Health Check programme is one of the world's largest lung cancer screening programmes and it's a programme where we invite patients at high risk of developing lung cancer to have a low dose CT scan of their chest so that we can diagnose their lung cancer early, ideally in stage one and two. In the first phases, we're at about 300,000 patients. The goal is to expand that now to two million patients United Kingdom wide. Typical screening program, especially in Europe, requires two radiologists to read a scan. So the volume, if we're doing two million patients, is almost four million reads. It's a tremendous burden for radiologists. It almost defeats the purpose of doing those scans if you don't have the people to interpret those scans. And that's where artificial intelligence, or AI, comes in. The machine will give you some breathing instructions. It's very important that you follow and keep very still so we get good quality imaging, okay? The images are taken and they might be taken in a mobile scanning truck in a supermarket, but those images are sent to a cloud and the AI or the artificial intelligence will perform what we call a primary read on that scan and identify all the spots in the lung that it has picked up. The second phase of that process is me as an expert chest radiologist has to interpret that CT scan of the chest but now with the AI having read it first. So straight away it makes my eyes faster. So this is a scan that's come in from one of the mobile scanning trucks today. But you can see this orange read, that's the AI technology read. It's picked up five or six nodules. So my eyes are immediately drawn to them and my job as a radiologist is to determine do I need to let my respiratory physician colleague know, look, there's a potential lung cancer here, I'm worried about it. I'm working much faster. I'm reporting far more CT scans in an hour or a day than I ever have, and I'm reporting them more confidently. And I think in that sense, I'm working in symbiosis with the AI. And I have to genuinely say, hand on my heart, the AI has made me a better radiologist. The AI? and the workflow technologies are all cloud-based and that allows the radiologist as well as the pulmonologist to read that scan anywhere, anytime. All this technology is the core technology of Deep Health. So far, the program has been a great success. We found nearly 4,000 lung cancers. Five years ago, before the program started, we were seeing most lung cancers being diagnosed at later stages. The data that we now have from the targeted lung health checks is that 75% of the lung cancers we're picking up are early stage, that's stages one and two. This is really encouraging. Getting cancer in an early stage means that we can offer much more effective treatments, including the potential to cure people of their lung cancers. AI is a complete game changer of population screening programs. And as a result, we're moving into other areas such as prostate cancer screening, breast cancer screening, and these tools can also be applied into neurology and in cardiology as well. This is truly transformative. I'd say it's a paradigm shift in how we're diagnosing lung cancer.
The more people we can screen, the more lung cancers we can detect early and the more people we can help. And technology is crucial to delivering that.